This is the tutorial video for Marshall Stability Test. What is Marshall Stability Test? It is the resistance to plastic deformation of cylindrical specimen of bituminous mixture and is measured when the same is loaded at the periphery at a rate of 5 cm per minute. These are the instruments required for Marshall Stability Test. This is the sieving arrangement for sieve analysis required in gradation. These are the sieved aggregates of different sizes along with hardened bitumen. This is the cylindrical mold of 7.5 cm height and 10 cm diameter. This is the collar and this is the sample extractor. This is the compaction pedestal. This is the rama of 4.54 kg dropped from 45.7 cm high. This is the breaking head. This is the loading machine along with its components. Now you can see the sieving of aggregates in which the nominal size of the aggregates is 20 mm. Weighing of different size of aggregates and the filler materials is done in such a way that the final mix after blending has a gradation within the specified reach that is 1200 gram. If we take 20 mm nominal size of aggregate then the sample retained on 20 mm ISC should be 0. As we have seen in the previous gradation table, we are taking 72 grams 12.5 mm aggregate, 312 grams 10 mm aggregate, 84 grams 4.7 mm aggregate, 204 grams 2.63 mm aggregate and the rest which is left out is the filler material that is 480 grams. Bitumen is heated to the temperature of 120 to 145 degrees Celsius. This is the cylindrical mold of 10 cm diameter. This is the collar which has to be fitted to it. All these have to be kept in the hot air oven for preheating. Now the mold is being kept inside the oven along with an additional mold for extra sample. Keep all the sieved aggregates for preheating. Now pour the hot bitumen in preheated aggregates in correct proportion. Now mix them thoroughly. Now pour the prepared mixture inside the mold. Seventy-five blows are to be given on each side of the mold. Now the blows are being given on the first side of the mold. The rammer weighing 4.54 kg should be dropped vertically from a height of 45.7 cm. Now turn the mold carefully. Give the blows on the other side of the mold as well. For cooling, 
The mold should be kept at room temperature for 24 hours. The bearing ball should always be kept between the extracting tool. Then extract the mold using the extractor and collar, hitting it with the hammer. Put the mold in the water having a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Take the submerged weight of the mold after 20 minutes. Now properly fix the mold in the breaking head and fix the setup in the machine. Adjust the screws and dial gauges on the machine. Now start the machine and note down the readings of the dial gauges and stop the machine when you notice the deformation. Now remove the tested mold from the machine. 